Rack, it's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. So the whole panel, uh, and of course, most uh, quarter part of the conference is focused on AI, and the world is focused on AI, uh, especially since the last year. So we started talking about uh, in the, the application and impact on enterprise, and since you uh, are with Hexaware, I thought let's start from there, then we can drill down. Sure. Yeah. So um, yeah, thank you for that. Hexaware is uh, a one and a half billion dollar company. 30,000 plus people. We are owned by Carlyle Private Equity and uh, we've been around for some time but in the last few years we have really stepped up the pace in terms of our investments in data and AI. Last year when the Gen AI wave hit we created a new unit which I'm leading around Gen AI consulting and practice helping clients implement use cases and also transforming ourselves. When you talk about helping, obviously you're a big f company, helping um, other clients, um, it is still n nascent in, in many aspects. Um, how does it roll out when you go and talk to clients? Because it's very interesting to learn from that. So clients are at different stages of implementation. Some of them are just looking for advice. We call it decode AI which is our consulting aspect, where we look at model selections, we are looking at what kind of business case prioritization they need to do, even things like how do they need to manage their data state. Then some of them are actually looking at pilots and a few of them are getting into production workloads using Gen AI. For that we have a uh, implementation methodology called Encode AI, where we are looking at integrations, we are looking at prompt engineering, we are looking at helping them in, uh, connect the right kind of data sets and actually creating the front-end applications and the use cases. As I was mentioning in the panel, there are four or five use cases which are coming up very strong. One is on customer service, whether it's chatbots, whether it is customer operations. The second is on marketing, content generation for marketing and personalized ad campaigns. One of the biggest ones is on operational efficiency. How do the enterprises leverage their internal knowledge base, whether it's in terms of problem resolution, service desks, or just HR policies and other kinds of things, and come out with answers which people can use natural language to quote for. And then a lot of our work internally is also getting disrupted because of Gen AI. Things like software engineering, coding. Now because of GitHub Copilots and other kinds of uh, such tools, the developer's work is getting complemented and augmented. So there is an automation part and then there is an augmentation part which Gen AI is helping with. Uh, in, in terms of resources, um, obviously it's an evolving technology mm -hmm. um, and uh, tech um, consultants have been known to adapt pretty fast. And I'm trying to learn about uh, training and the adaptability of the workforce. Yeah. You know, how, d how uh, does that go along with the fast paced evolution of technology? So you'll be actually um, surprised that a lot of people want to learn about this technology because everybody is so interested and it's become very democratized. It's all available. We have done uh, something very focused. So out of 30,000 hexavariants, currently 15,000 are already trained on what we call as fundamentals of Gen AI. This is one of our strategies is to Gen AI ourselves, right? Before we take it to the market, we want to eat our own dog food. We want to make sure that every delivery person, every consultant who's either coding, testing, engineering, uh, doing operations work, uh, is aware of the Gen AI technologies and is using that in his or her own projects. The second aspect is Gen AI training our management team and client facing team. So we are running some workshops and training programs for that. We are using some of the Udemy related courses and when you talk to the Udemy Asia Pacific because most of our workforce is in India they will they have vouched that Hexaware, Hexaware training has been one of the most active in terms of number of people taking courses and so on so it's a huge change management effort but I think we realize the importance of it we want to become Gen AI first company ourselves before we help enable our clients to become Gen AI first so now that brings me to uh, the other question, which is market positioning. Yeah. You have to fight for the space, mm -hmm. and everybody's throwing uh, capital at the, and resources at this. Uh, how do you, which you, because you're a big company yourself, try to position that and make a niche for yourself? So there are some ways we are doing that. One is we have a backing from Carlyle. 
uh, I have presented to the board, which is mostly Carlyle board members, and we have agreed on a uh, lot of investment which can go into this field. This investment will be in few areas. One of them is on hiring. So we are in the lookout for the right set of Gen AI skilled people, consultants, architects, and uh, delivery uh, implementation engineers. We also have partnerships. So. Uh, I mentioned about OpenAI, so we have partnership with OpenAI, with Microsoft, with AWS. So we are actually getting in in the uh, early stages of some of the product testing and releases and, and how to implement it in the client environment. We are also doing certain things on the marketing front, marketing and events uh, where we are taking our presence forward. We have bought he uh, hardware and licenses to enable our own internal POCs and ideations from the different units. So we are putting in a lot of investment in different areas and we believe that that creates a differentiation. Also the selection of the right kind of solution areas to go after. I was talking about growth related, productivity related and trust related. So this is our solution portfolio. We have currently 40 solutions mm -hmm. across different domains, banking, financial services, healthcare, insurance and so on, where we have created point solutions based on Gen AI, which we're taking. Some of them are listed on the Azure marketplace and in the AWS uh, market as well. And we are then complementing it with the services catalog. So we are taking a specific set of services to the market currently under Decode AI and Encode AI and we are actually taking that, uh, we are doing a comparative analysis of what the business case is and the economic economic tricks of this uh, solution. Again, uh, thank you. I, as you mentioned, uh, uh, very good times to be in this space Absolutely. and um, you know, company is, is, is incredible, it's growing really fast. It is. Uh, so I appreciate you coming here and of course thank you for sponsoring. Appreciate that. Thank you for the opportunity and this has been a great event. I wasn't expecting so many people and it's been a packed set of uh, sessions. So uh, I see a lot of interest people asking before after this is obviously a key topic. So and thank you for taking the time to, to ask a few questions yourself. Absolutely my pleasure. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah.